Okay, so I figured it out. Let me show you. I, I just have this in a bag because I want to take it to the store. Uh, just to give it a proper fitting for just the very, very short uh, uh, holes. You know, just, just, just this much. You know, I don't really need it, but I think it would avoid any accidental spills while I'm using this. Just a little short one like this. Doesn't have to be long. So that's why I have this in the bag for when I go to the store. Anyway, I'm experimenting. It's not like I need to use this, but I actually want to have it ready. What if I have a guest one time and they're in the bathroom and I need to go to the bathroom, right? So anyway, this is mainly for number one, okay? So I want you to watch closely. You see how I have a plastic bag here, just a little tip of a plastic bag there? That's done on purpose, okay? This funnel is going to go over the gallon of water, okay? So it's going to kind of like, in an indirect way, secure that other plastic bag. And so that plastic bag, it's pinched between this and the bucket, so it's pretty steady. See? So something could drop in there, right? And it's pretty firm, okay? So now, if I were to sit there, number one will go here, and number two will go here. So what I would do is, I would just adjust this, you know, make sure that I'm aiming correctly. This over here is pretty big enough that I won't miss. And so, I finally got it. I don't have to put a hose to lead outside, to a bottle outside. The bucket in itself is good enough. This over here, we would use... um environmentally friendly doggy bags right which would be more or less the same size this over here is a vegetable bag when you go uh to produce in the supermarket you get those plastic bags where you put um so i tend to try to save them um most of the times i, I don't i guess but i was fortunate enough to find this and so you could just buy them and you know in in, in the in, in the doggy aisle and uh, make sure they're compostable. You don't want something that's going to create waste. What do you think of this idea? I think it's wonderful. I sat on it. I felt very comfortable. And you're not gonna you're gonna see part of my body, my pajamas, and everything. But this is me sitting here. This is very comfortable. I would probably not have to worry about aiming correctly. But if I want to bring up the funnel a little closer to me, it's still not going to detach it from the bottle. But I want to get a little bit of a nano um, uh, holes just to make sure it doesn't miss. And in the back, I'm, I'm secure. That what's going to drop is going to drop in that bag. But there's a backup is the bucket itself. Okay. And if I see that I make mistakes, I'll probably want to uh, put a bag cover uh, underneath everything just in case. Uh, but I think this is really spectacular. I even feel com very comfortable about taking this in my car and then like in the front seat, front passenger seat, kind of like move the, the seat back to create enough space. Um, and what I pr would probably do is, um, I probably don't, you may think this is crazy. If I lived in a car, I probably would get one of these, hang it as high as I can, uh, create a little hole uh, so that would come in through here. And uh, after I finished that, um, at night, I would do this once a night. So I'll probably clear the bucket and wash myself, either with this or with one of those handheld bottles that you could spray yourself some water. So that way when you go to bed... You know, you put a little soap there, you wash it away, and you're good to go. It's not going to smell because it's soap. You're just washing yourself. And you could always dump that water in any parking lot. It's just water with a little soap. That's all it is. And you start your day again by putting, preparing a toilet there for emergencies. Thank you for watching. 
And in case you didn't get a good look, this is all it is. Just a bucket. A bucket from Lowe's. <laughs> Lowe's bucket. Okay? Could be any bucket. But this is, I finally got it. I've watched a lot of different ideas. There's no reason why the catch bottle should be outside of the bucket with the hose leaning out. It doesn't have to. That's because people are thinking they're going to do dookie right in the bag there. But, I mean, those bags are too big for one dookie. This over here, a dog, a dog poop bag, is more than enough for your poop that you're going to wrap it up right away. And if you want to put it in a container till you find the right, a good place to dump it, like a dog park, um, then that's what you would do. Um, but this is, like, really perfect. This is, see, very firm. Very, very firm. Whatever you do is going to drop. It's not going to spill. And that's it, folks. Have a great day.